biggest problem is is as well the the lack like again tying back to the system it's the lack of like cadence deliberate cadence that happens when leads come into a business mm. through whatever measure phone calls forms ads whatever it might be and like and I'll, and I'll tell you like the, the two sides of the equation the one of them is okay well with this lead came in we called them they didn't answer so no good that doesn't play that's a absolute churn and burn mentality it's not about lead coming in, call them, and then relegate to opportunity loss. That's not what it's like. There's a cadence that needs to happen there, which involves multiple touch points in order for that contact to become a marketing qualified lead MQ. Or, and then ideally a sales qualified lead, right? <clears throat> and the difference between a marketing qualified lead is, is like someone who answers the phone and actually have a conversation, whereas sales qualified lead is okay, someone who's booked in for a site visit or whatever it might be. Where most businesses drop the ball is in that cadence. And like we quite literally, I mean, even yesterday, like one of our roofing clients, you know, we put out, well, we have our sales agent who's just recently deployed in, in that business. And in the first week, he's booked four site visits for this roofing client, right? Now, that client hasn't, hadn't booked, he'd booked a couple, I think, in the, in the months that we've been working together. But the point is like taking these leads through this defined deliberate cadence is absolute, absolute game changer. Because it means that you're maximizing the opportunity, you know, for these leads to actually become customers. Something. Most businesses won't do that. They'll call them once, they'll call them twice, maybe, and then that's it. They didn't answer their, their shitty lead. And that's a, it's an it's a absolute waste of money. And then often that comes back then to the agency, oh, your leads are no good. It's like, well, no, your leads, the lead's fine. The lead quality's great. Your system's shit. Yeah, yeah. And so that's probably tying back to the process conversation. It's like you've got to have that dialed in before you can start talking about scaling the volume because scaling the volume before you have the process, that's a fast track to burning leads. It's burning a fast money. track to burning leads. And then what you just said to burning money as a result. And I think if we're spending good money on, on leads, making sure that like, I mean, we can, we can turn, turn ads off at any point in time, we can pull a page and replace a form. We can do whatever we need to do to give time to be able to plug the holes in that system along the way. What does your team do for quality assurance and testing? Because I do think there's a measure of like, sometimes we just don't know that the system's broken. We don't know that so-and-so on the other end is actually like not getting a certain uh, phone call or answering a phone call well. Yeah, we just do the whole thing. So that, that the, the, the client doesn't have to deal with it. All they do is show up for the site visit. That's what we do. But the, But like, that qualification and disqualification process, it needs to be defined and deliberate and in align with what the business deems as qualified. And, and, and then that, that attention needs to be played to, paid to the process and the time and the deliverables and the contact points that need to happen within that time frame in order for that opportunity to be maximized.